all right, now let's install GoZ. If you're not going to be using GoZ to transfer files from ZBrush to Houdini, not a big deal. We're going to be going over the FBX import as well. But just in case you're using a ZBrush to Houdini pipeline, I'm going to go ahead and go over this. I'm also going to be posting a link to this page here, which is will also walk you through the GoZ installation for Houdini, as well as have the most current downloads for our HDA, our Houdini digital asset file. So we're going to go ahead and download the one for 16.5. And instead of keeping this in my download folder, what I'm going to do is move this into a place where I store all my Houdini stuff. So I'm going to go to my Houdini folder here, go to my game dev tools, and just copy this Gozi installer 16.5, 16.5 HDA in here. Feel free to put this file wherever you'd like. So let's just move this in here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this directory. Just control C. I'm going to go over here to go to file, import, Houdini digital asset. I'm going to click the little arrow icon to go into the directory navigator. If you want, I do have a shortcut to this Houdini folder I'm using, but I can also just go ahead and control paste, control V, that location from earlier. And we'll just go ahead and double click this Gozi installer 16.5. Hit install and create. And if you've never installed Gozi for Houdini, it should install just fine. However, because I had it already installed, or if you had an old version installed, you want to install a new version, it's going to tell you, please delete the Gozi Houdini DLL while Houdini is closed. And if you look down at the Houdini console window, it should tell you where this path is. I'm going to go ahead and navigate there. It's going to be under, on a Windows machine, C drive users, whatever your username is, documents, Houdini 16.5 DSO, and then you've got a Gozi Houdini DLL in here. So really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and close out of Houdini. Go ahead and delete that DLL, and then restart Houdini. And then again, File, Import, HDA. Because we just imported it, we can click this little down arrow and go right to it. Install and create. Yay, we're installed uh, successfully, so please restart Houdini. And we'll go ahead and restart Houdini one more time. Save, discard, and quit. And like I mentioned before, if you haven't installed GoZ before, you won't have to go through that deleting step. So now that we have that, we're going to go up here to the plus sign. We're going to go to Shelves. We're going to click on GoZ. And now we have this uh, Gozi icon and this Gozi shelf. Just go ahead and click that. And now we have a Gozi port open, so we can now send files from ZBrush directly into Houdini.